Hey guys, what is up? Sam with Scorpio here, bringing you guys a quick and simple guide on how to unlock the brand new Hammer Wonder Weapon inside of World War 2 Zombies, the Frozen Dawn DLC 4 boys. And yeah, I'm just going to get straight into this guy. It's a super awesome Wonder Weapon. It has a massive heavy swing which deals a lot of damage, a cool elemental effect when you get upgraded and when it is upgraded it can even be thrown much like Thor's hammer from the Avengers or the Hell's Retriever from Mother of the Dead either way it's insanely powerful it's a lot of fun to use and let's get right into this so the first step is actually going to be classic zombies easter egg style collecting rocks so we're just going to come straight down from spawn for the first one these will always spawn in the same locations every time and you'll actually just see on the right hand side of the whole look, the whole open view of the caves you'll just be able to pick it up here, it's kind of hard to spot but you can pick it up right there and then for the second one you're actually going to need to head down to the whole planetarium kind of bit we can see all the plants orbiting about and there's this little fireplace to the left it where you can pick up the second stone and then finally if you actually head over to the other side of the map you'll find just tucked away behind this arm machine here there is one sitting on the column and for the fourth and final one simply you need to head off to double tap by where you get the shield which I'll have a guide for soon as soon as that is solved and you just have to hold square on it all of these you just interact with to get them and this one can be found directly opposite double tap so once you've done that you just need to head down to the bridge where you'll see these wee four slots here on one side of the whole central open area and simply all you have to do is interact with each of them once you've got the stones to place them in it's going to be really easy to do it and you'll get a wee signal to let you know it's done and that you can move on to the next step they can be a little bit annoying to get into place but you'll get it in a you know give it a couple of minutes and I'm sure you'll get it nice and into place and yeah let's move on to the next step which is actually to head back to spawn where you can find a Uberschnall, one of the batteries that we've seen throughout the World War II season and you're just going to need to pick it up and run it down back to this bridge you're going to move pretty slowly because it's a pretty heavy thing but anyways once you get to the bridge you just have to place it into this cauldron at which point you can begin to charge it with salts it's going to take roughly 15 to 20 it's very obviously quick to do because you can get here at a very low round just get that charged up and then you can move on to the actual interesting bit of this which is finally how you get the hammer now you're going to see these cool little runes sitting in the middle here so for example I have an F, an R, a B and an M I believe on mine and now simply if you look down just if you can peer down into the cave area in the drop down you'll be able to see four letters so in my case I have M F F F now these runes will actually act as soul boxes so because I have an M that means I have to put one soul into the letter M and then because I have three F's following that I have to put three F souls into the letter F now it's very simple to do, it sounds really complicated but you guys can get it nice and easy, you just have to put only one soul into each of these and once it does you'll see an awesome lightning effect and then the hammer will spawn in and once you run up to it you'll actually see that it disappears. Now this is the point where you have to go on a wild goose chase looking for the hammer but once you find it all you have to do is, now this is going to sound really weird, you have to go prone and sneak up on the hammer and interact with it and once it does it will kind of turn into a different way will actually start running away from you just chase it around for a bit and run it back down to this area because what you need to do next is actually what's going to stop it from being able to do that so what you're going to do next is what's going to stop it from just constantly running away from you and it's very simple all you have to do is you're going to see that these four kind of pillars have appeared in my game three of them are already light up this kind of lightning bolt effect three of them are lit up could be different in your game but either way all you have to do is shoot each of the four blocks that kind of align them up here just as you can see my buddy chaos basilisk is doing in the footage you're seeing here you just have to shoot them kind of like you did with the statues and shy throne you just have to kind of make them line up to make the pattern make sure it's facing in the same direction i'm aligning mine to and you just have to get it to the point where it lights up and then you just have to chase the hammer around the map until it eventually falls in the middle here and you'll see it gets shocked with an awesome lightning effect and then you can pick up your hammer.
And the next bit is where we bring you the exciting bit. This is where we will be upgrading our hammer to make it nice and OP. That awesome throw effect I told you about earlier and it's very very easy to do. All you have to do is take it up to spawn and you'll see that this room which I point to here will be glowing with lightning. Just take that and then follow it here and quickly hit this next one. If you miss it, it don't get there in time, then you just have to go back and pick it back up again until you get it. And then just follow along the route you see here where I place it into this kind of wee fireplace here. And then this next bit is where it gets a bit different because you then have to take it and instead of actually just hitting a thing, you actually have to kill a zombie underneath this doorway whilst it's electrocuted to light up that bar there. Now there's something that happens here where I'm not sure if it's an exploit or if it's meant to be a feature, but if you just put your weapon away and then pull it back out again, it will be electrocuted. If you just hit that rune at the bottom of this whole puzzle board here, you will actually activate it and then you can begin the puzzle. Now all you have to do for this is really nice and easy, all you have to do is when you shoot one of these kind of symbols, it will realign the ones that touch it. So you just have to shoot them all until they all kind of sh face the right way and you just have to solve that puzzle. Now you'll then have to do this a second and third time and the second and third ones are a bit trickier because you'll see it's not just symbols, it's also skulls. Now these skulls, you cannot shoot anything that has a skull next to it or you will fail the puzzle. I'm not sure exactly what happens if you will fail but I personally not want to be the one who finds out. So once you do all three of these, they're really easy to do, just be careful to avoid those skulls. You actually get a pop-up about this being all finished up, and then this is where it gets freaky. If you walk back to this bridge here, you'll see, take out your hammer, and there will be an invisible pathway. This is weird as hell, and it properly freaked me out on my first time doing it, but all I need you to do is just to run along this pathway, and when you actually get to the end of it, you'll find yourself being floated up. And this is the point where you will be taken into the Storm Raven trial, where you're going to get the trophy. Now, this is very easy to do. All you'll see is, firstly, you pick up the hammer, which will be sitting in the middle, the upgraded one. And then there'll be a few zombies around you, which you can kill. And then a few zombies will spawn, which have bubbles on them. Now, these bubble ones, you can't just hit immediately. What you actually have to do is use the L1 ability to throw the hammer at them and then you can kill them so they're really easy to deal with they're not going to cause a big amount of pain to you all you have to do is throw your hammer then give them a few whacks and then you will be teleported out of this trial and you will have your upgraders hammer really easy to do this quest honestly it's one of the easier ones and it's by far probably my favorite of these wonder weapons that we've found so far on the map honestly a lot of fun to use very Thor Avengers like and I love those films so yeah that's going to wrap up this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll see you on more World War II Zombies tutorials. Bye!